YouTube, what is up? If you are new to this channel, I am Michael James, a freelance fine artist creating to spread positivity and good vibes all around. Welcome back to Michael James Fine Art. Today we have another watercolor painting, time lapse version, veiled figure. This was a lot of fun. This is a great piece. It was also completed live on stream. The link to the full video will be in the description down below. We have a lot more fun content coming on this video. We have some custom skate decks. We're gonna be showing you how to complete these skate decks start to finish. We have some charcoal drawings, oil paintings, maybe some podcasts coming soon. A lot of good content, so be sure smash that like smash that sub don't miss a minute all the support is greatly greatly appreciated and let's get right into the video but before we do i need you to do one thing for me stay healthy stay happy and never stop creating let's get it all right today we have another watercolor painting time lapse that we created during inktober it was one of our personal favorite pieces one of the most experimental and fun pieces we created we started with a wet on wet watercolor, so we sprayed the paper down very much because we wanted a very natural, organic feel to the watercolor. The prompt for this drawing was silhouette. So rather than a stark black and white silhouette, we went with a veiled figure behind a sheer sort of cloth drapery. This allowed for some fun values, shapes, mark making, again, some natural effects with the watercolor to mix and dry and bleed, creating texture and depth as the watercolor spread throughout the paper. This was created using only black watercolor paint. The saturation levels change based on the amount of water in each mark. That is how I achieved the grayscale. There's no white or any other colors. We are starting laying in just some nice big dark values and shapes. We're kind of working light to dark, even though we're working on our darkest shapes first. We're laying in the shapes as we see fit and then building up our darks while putting in lighter gray washes. So the piece was very experimental and a fun process as again it was a wet on wet watercolor painting. So one of the funnest parts of that is to allow the watercolor to do what it does when it spreads out and moves and dries in its own natural form, creating its own shapes, its own edges, its own marks. So we really wanted to continue to push and have fun with that process. Yeah, just building up the darks where they should be and keeping the lights in their appropriate place as well. Again, values, proportions, and shapes are what create form and figure. All right, guys, real quick, if you are enjoying this video, please smash that like and sub down below. It helps the algorithm greatly. We want to push this video out to anybody who might be enjoying the vibes enjoying the community enjoying the artwork so thank you guys again for the love let's get right back to the video i attempted to keep the edges all very soft as again this is a figure behind a veiled sheet or cloth but again where the figure comes closer to the cloth will be far more pronounced uh darker sharper edges because there's less room between the cloth and the figure so some of the darker, sharper edges are where the figure is actually touching the cloth or closest to the cloth. Some of the hair touching creates very sharp, stark, delicate marks. And then where the body turns away from it, it actually allows space for light to get in. That's why the figure remains lighter the farther it is away from the veiled cloth. A blow dryer can be used to dry the watercolor painting as much as you want. 
Um, what this does is allow you to continue layering in darks much quicker than if the painting has to dry on its own because the watercolor paper was getting very, very wet. So the paint kept spreading out no matter how much you saturated it. So sometimes you dry it up and this allows you to add in some nice, fresh new marks and really control how wet that paper works with the saturation of the ink or watercolor paint in this case. So again, just continuing to build up these darks every now and then you can see I'm picking up some of the values and saturation level that I've put down with a paper towel or Q-tip. This is both drying the paper, but also picking up some extra paint that I do not want there. Uh, and this allows me to get a little bit more texture and depth and continue to layer it faster than if it remains wet. One thing I've found helpful is actually projecting my art on a monitor that I can check almost as a third party fresh eye. It allows me to gauge values, proportions, the line work, the drawing, um, the overall image as again, it's just projected onto another monitor. So it's no different than taking a picture of it, checking it, flipping it upside down, using a mirror is just a third party image that I can look at. And I have found it very helpful. So now I'm just finalizing some of these edges that I want sharper and some of the edges I want lost as again, depending on how the figure interacts with the cloth, that is what's deciding these edges and these values. So I am trying to show form as well as movement because the figure is still in the image, but we do want to give the impression that of course they are a live moving figure. Now we're going in with some final washes to cover up all the white highlights as we don't want too many because it is a very soft, delicate piece as it's through a sheer cloth or some sort of soft material. So defining the figure where you have to, losing edges where you should, all comes down to proper values and proper shapes, which you can continue adjusting and tweaking and moving until it is perfect and perfect is of course accurate in your eyes where you don't know how you would improve it or make it better at that point that is when you can call it complete put your signature take one last look on this piece i add my signature in a nice dark ink and then pull that ink through the remaining piece in a couple instances so that my signature does not stand out as being the darkest dark and one final look and it's complete on to the next one if you guys have made it this far thank you so much for watching i appreciate the support information and item list is down in the description below and if you have any questions or thoughts on what i should draw next please drop them down in the comments thank you again so much for the final image and all of the inktober work including all of my other work be sure to follow me on instagram link is in the description down below as well We're going to keep creating and making lots of fun artwork. So until next time, you guys, stay healthy, stay happy, and never stop creating.